Do you ever have one of those hair days where you haven't washed your hair in a few days, four days so far for me, and you wake up and then you have like that cow lick in the back of your head from sleeping on your hair and it doesn't matter how you style it, you still see that weird cow lick at the top of your head. I recently got a ton of my hair cut, not necessarily the length, but I got a ton of the bulk cut out of it. So now I feel like since I got so many layers and got that bulk cut out of my hair, it's almost that I can only wear it down that same day that I wash it because the next day it just looks kind of ragged and it doesn't look that great and I'm forced to wear it in a ponytail or a bun, which, you know, I don't mind because I wear buns and ponytails all the time. So the other day I was browsing on Amazon and I saw some clip-in extensions that were human hair that were pretty affordable and they had amazing reviews. So I thought, you know what, I'm just gonna get them. I'm gonna try them and see what they look like. Now the first time I ordered them, I did get the wrong color and they were free return so I was able to return them. But this time I got a color that kind of matches my light to medium brown hair and I have, you know, I have a lot of highlights in my hair. Now the highlights are old, so they're all the way kind of grown out to here because I haven't been back to the salon to touch them up. But I have extensions in my hair. I mean, you can probably tell because my hair is so dirty. It's four days dirty, so it's a little stringy um, and I really haven't even brushed it today. That's why I wanted to film this video because I wanted to show you how you can still look put together, snap them in really fast, and have a hairdo that kind of looks like that kind of messy bed head. I showed my husband, I said, hey, do you notice anything different with my hair? He had no clue that I had an extensions, but he said, wow, that looks really sexy. So my hair is a lot longer than it normally is. My hair stops about right here and these extensions are coming down to here, but I don't have a ton of them clipped in my hair. So I'm gonna take them out one by one because I wanna show you what my hair looks like without them and how simple it is. And trust me, I'm not a hairdresser. I'm not a hairstylist. I actually am probably one of the worst hairstylists in the world because I'm so lazy and I don't enjoy styling my hair. But if I can do this, I know any of you guys can do this. And you know, maybe you're not even gonna wear your hair down, but I thought this is really gonna come in handy. I always like to pull my hair over to the side and put a braid in it. Well, now that she chopped so much out of the bulk of my hair, my braid is like super thin and it's just got like hair poking all out of it. So. I can put these in and then do my braid and even put a hat on if I want. Normally when I go four days without washing my hair, I have no clue how I'm sleeping, but my hair gets like smushed right here at the top. And then you can see like this cowlick. It just looks like this part and it doesn't matter what I do. There's no way I can cover it up unless I pull my hair back, slick it back in a ponytail. But with this, I was able to put a clip in extension up here and then my natural hair just masks it. And then this way I don't have that weird cowlick at the top there. The other thing I did, and I'll, I'm going to take these out in a second. I've always had a receding hairline here so you can see how it goes up here. And since I use that hair growth serum that's in another video, that really helped my hair to grow back. Now this is like thicker and grown in and I have quite a bit of hair here. But I still have, you know, I was born with this kind of like receding hairline. But I have not pulled my hair up off my face like this in a hairstyle for a long time. I literally just have, I'll take it out. I just have a bobby pin in it and all I did was just pulled the little front sides up because like I said, my my hair is dirty and it gets real stringy and it looks crazy. I'll link the color that I got down below. The only thing I don't like about these, and I'll link the length and all of that that I got, but the only thing I don't like is some of the highlights that are in them. I feel like they're a little too like highlighty the way I would have highlighted my hair, you know, 10, 20 years ago. But I'm pretty sure since these are human hair, I could color them. They have all the instructions. I haven't washed them or done anything like that yet. I haven't cut them. You can even curl them. You can put your flat iron, uh, your curling iron on them. But you know, you need to treat it like your regular hair because this is real human hair. This is not fake hair. So you'd want to use heat protectant, good shampoo, conditioner and all that. But I have not done any of that to them yet because I just got them and I was just playing around with them. The set I bought was like 90 bucks for all of them, but I'm thinking there might even be a smaller set because I don't have these in my hair. This would, you know, probably just make my hair really poofy. But this is what they look like. The one that I have in the back has four clips and then they have two of the ones with three clips. So they're all different widths. Then they have two of them with two clips. So as you can see, this is a shorter, length and then the one with three clips 
and then they have two of them with just one clip but this one I think it matches my hair pretty well because I have you know light brown hair with you know highlights and look at this I mean this is real hair I mean hello how gorgeous is this like I said they have all different sizes so if you're like well I don't want to have long hair I you know my hair is up to here but maybe your hair is up to here but it's just kind of thin and no bulk they have some that are shorter they have some here they have some that are even longer than this I didn't necessarily want to make my hair a lot longer I did make it like this much longer I didn't want it to be so overly obvious but I wanted to just kind of add some of that bulk and that fullness back to my hair and kind of hide where I have more thinning areas compared to, you know, where I have bulk and thicker areas. If you look in the mirror and you're like, man, my hair just kind of is blah, it's just kind of thin, there's no flow or anything to it, it doesn't matter what length your hair is. I mean, if you have super duper short hair, you know, like a pixie cut, I don't think you're gonna wanna get something like this. But whatever your length of hair is, you know, if it's here or down to here, you could make your hair super long. Or if you wanna make it not so obvious, get them similar to where your length already is just to add that fullness back in your hair. For me, someone who doesn't like to style my hair, like I said, I've not done anything to my hair in four days. It's just kind of doing its own thing. I feel like, you know, it's not like a polished look or a smooth straight look, but it just kind of gives me that beautiful wave. And I could flatten them if I want to have them straight, but I kind of like, you know, this wavy look that it gives me. But again, some of the highlights, I'm not a huge fan of some of the highlights. Now you can buy just a solid hair color, but my, my hair, my real hair here is not a solid color. It does have highlights, but I think I'm going to see if I can just put a little color on to make the highlights that are in it not look, you know, as fake. So right here I have one and I'm just going to take it out. I mean, like I said, didn't brush my hair, didn't even use a mirror to put these in. I just clipped them in, but this is the one piece that I got. So maybe you just have an area that's like just thinner on this side than this side and you just want to add a little bit of bulk there. I mean, one little piece makes a huge, huge difference. When my hair is freshly washed and it's super soft, these don't feel like they clip in or are secure as well as when my hair's dirty. So that's why I really like them when my hair's dirty because I can spray a little dry shampoo on the roots to try to hide, you know, because my roots will get oily at day four. And then I'll just take like a rat comb or one of those combs just to kind of tease right here. So this is not super smooth. So I'm just gonna show you how easy it is. So I want to add a little bulk right here where I have this natural receding hairline. I just put it right here, you know, like those combs that you used to put in your hair. That's really all this is, it's just a little miniature one. It's just got like this little clip and all you do is boop, now it's it will be secure in your hair. And then this opens it up. So it's so simple. You slide the comb down and then push it on your head and now it's secure. I will put the comb in just the way you would it's in there nice and secure and then listen I snap it on and then I put my regular hair right over top but this just gives that front part of my hair that extra bulk because my hair on the front I'll just take it out my hair on the front I have layers in the front so my hair stops to about here so now I can have the front of my hair a little bit longer why didn't anyone tell me how amazing these were these are so cool I love these in my hair so I'm gonna take the other ones out I want to just show you what my hair looks like without them you know on day four without brushing it they're so easy to take out so this is the one I have the same one on this front side here and then right here I just have one with two clips in it just to kind of hide that part so you don't see that cowlick and that's just two of them that were right there I mean look at this this matches my hair so well and then the only other one I have in my hair is one in the very back and I'm gonna take it out but normally I will just wear my hair not normally I've only tried this a few times but when I do it I will wear my hair the regular way and only put one of them in the back of my hair because since I got so many layers cut to cut out some of the bulk my hair still has the length but in the very back it just looks super thin because the bottom layer doesn't have any thickness to it so that's why I put this one that has four clips in the very, very back close to the bottom to add that bulk and fullness back again to the bottom. So my natural hair stops about here and I have the extensions in. So it makes my hair about this much longer. So I just took this one out of the very back and then let me just show you my hair. So I still have, you know, fairly long hair, but look how she's done like long layers but then this down here is just kind of thin and wimpy. See if I can show you. This is the way my hair will lay after I'm just kind of walking around. 
this is how it's gonna lay. And then you see this weird cowlick part. I'll take the one that has two and then I'll just pull a little hair here and then I just put them in. Pop them here and here and then put my hair back over top of it. But I had the front of my hair pulled up so this piece that I had pulled up covered it up even more. So no matter what direction my hair lays you're not going to see that cowlick in the back of my head because I just have this little one clipped in there. So this is the one that I had in the very back of my hair. It just kind of wraps around your hair. So I put it about right here to add that bulk. All I did with this one, I just lifted up my hair, clipped it in, and then put my hair back over top of it. And you can brush these. I mean, I don't brush them too hard. Once I did pull it a little bit too hard and a piece of the hair out of the extension came out. So I just kind of grip it here and then I brush them. And the same way, you know, I would brush my hair. So normally I wouldn't put them all over here. I mean, but it's kind of fun to do that to make my hair full all over. Normally I just, I mean, like I say normally the past few days, I'm just putting this one clip that has the four clips in the very back of my hair just to add that bulk here and just to give me some fullness when I pull my hair forward. And the other thing I did is I just pulled my hair back and then I did like a little side ponytail, but now I have this pretty longer ponytail that has some bulk, some some weight to it. I absolutely love these. Again, I'm not a hairdresser and you know, I very well could be popping them in wrong, but they work for me. So if you try these, let me know. And again, I'm going to link all the details on these down below the video if you want to know the color, the length, and all of that. They have a ton of different colors, so no matter what your hair color is, they probably have a color to match your hair. My earrings and my top will also be linked down below. I also got those on Amazon. I absolutely love these earrings. These look like turquoise, but of course it's not real turquoise because they were super cheap. I think they were like $13, $15, somewhere around there. And for those of you wondering how I grew my hair back, I have another video where I share all of the tips and tricks and the different products that I used as well as my miracle growth factor serum that I found that that's probably what made the biggest difference in growing back my hair and I'm gonna link that video right here if you would like to check that out I hope you enjoyed today's video if you're not subscribed to my channel but you would like to be just look down below and you can tap on that subscribe button and if you did like this video I hope you'll give it a thumbs up thank you so much for watching I really appreciate each and every one of you and I hope you have a wonderful day